perfectly level. Over here, I just gotta add a four by four. Let's take a wider look. Matching fascia as on the deck above. You can kind of see a piece of the fascia. Okay guys, let me show you how I'm building this gate. So I have eight pieces of two by six primed and painted and I'm clamping them together. This is a homemade clamping system. So I put a two by four here, I put a two by four over here, and then I cut some shims, long shims you can see. So there's no gap in between. Now I took the fascia, Azek coastline, got one for the middle, we're gonna put here made my center point mark. Let me have one for the top. That'll go there. And one for the bottom. There we go. Okay, at this stage right here, you wanna get yourself some good clamps. I really like these Dewalt clamps. They come in different sizes. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we're lined up on the corners. I'm going to clamp it right here. And get another one over here. Okay, guys, let me show you a little trick. So I'm using small clamps in between the two screws so I can still have room to put the screws in and then another one in the middle, you can see. So we're going to stagger and then as we go, we'll keep moving the clamps downward and we're using the inch and a half Azex screws. Okay, onto the middle strip. Got this clamp down perfectly in the center. All right, guys, so we're putting on these stainless steel hinges. We have our center point right here. You can see I put a pencil line right down the middle with my square. And we have these two holes right here. We're gonna line up to that line. And then we're gonna split right down the middle of this hinge. So we're gonna line it up just like this. We're using these two inch stainless steel heavy duty screws okay once we get this first one here i like to do one over here this is still on the line but i'm going to mount it over here you can see i pre-drilled it perfectly in the middle and we'll go ahead and put this one in oh my battery just died all right let me show you a little trick to make sure your hinges are running perfectly parallel take your four foot level and set it right up to there over to this one okay it should be touching on both sides which it is all right so we're going to flip it over and add this two by four okay we're going to put two screws two 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 staggered all the way down and you can see we're centered right on top we're right on top of the hinge. So this is all gonna be tied together. Okay, let me show you the screws we're using. Stainless steel, three inch. Okay, with this two by four, let me show you. I have it back just about an eighth of an inch, just at the end of that radius of the two by six. And also the angle, you can see it's about a 10, uh, maybe seven degree angle. So that's gonna keep um, this from hitting the post as you're closing it. Sometimes that happens, so it gives it a little clearance. So I have the same reveal here, set back about eighth of an inch. See right here. So that's guaranteed not to hit your post. And it looks nice. Over here, you can just go flush. Wow, that looks good. Perfectly level. Over here, I just gotta add a four by four. Let's take a wider look. Matching fascia 
as on the deck above. You can kind of see a piece of the fascia. All right, folks, it has been a year and a half since I installed this gate. Let's take a look at the condition right here on the coastline. Okay, the door is still holding up. It looks like nothing has changed. It's not sagging. You can see there's still a gap at the top and the bottom. Equal gap. No angle braces on the entire gate. We do have some rusting problems with these are these hinges these are stainless steel and I still see rust so that's not good but those are expensive hinges but we're right at the coastline so you're not gonna completely avoid rust so if you look right over here there's an ocean the Azex screws are not rusted so that's good those are stainless steel Azex we're literally right across the street from the ocean, so this gets a ton of moisture in the air. This is really gonna put it to the test. Anything that will rust will rust very quickly here at the coastline. <laughs> 